blob there that I actually have no idea. Apparently it's a graph. Yeah, you can yeah. sort of see the graph line. <laughs> so, like, hold it against the light, turn it, check the graph. If you need another copy of it, these notes are on Google Classroom. So you can go and, when we get there, you can have a look at that graph. Okay. All right, let's have a look. So an individual is a single organism of a specific species. So in English terms, if I said what is an individual, you'd probably say one, one unit of. But you've got to say of a specific species. Okay, so this is an individual, lesser bush baby, and its scientific name is Galago senegalensis. Okay, so let's talk about scientific names. He was going to ask you a question about scientific names. Okay, let's talk about scientific names. Okay, this is terribly, 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 terribly important. You're going to have lots of scientific names in matric. You do not have to know them for this section. You will have to know them for evolution. So when you get onto the section on evolution, the teacher will say to you, you do have to know Australopithecus africanus and Australopithecus afarensis. But you don't have to know um, Ardipithecus robustus. Okay. So we will tell you there are only about six of them that you have to know. Okay, all right. And we say them so often you will know them. But so let's talk about what you have to know when you write a scientific name. So if I give you a schlurp, so let's say, for example, in a case study, I give you a whole lot of information. The case study is, for example, on... End of choice one, the 1st of September, first 45 minutes, cut. 